started my journey by taking a train to Vilnius. From there, I caught a flight to Belgrade with a layover in Zurich. Nice. A delicate chocolate leaf, so light that a gentle breeze lifted it into the air. A superstar. Took a flight to Belgrade and landed by late lunchtime. For a dinner in Belgrade, we enjoyed a variety of delicious local dishes. The next morning, we took a taxi and headed north to Chachak. Upon arrival, the city was already alive with Serbian music and the sounds of traditional gunshots, signaling the start of the wedding celebrations. In the midst of the bustling crowd, Marco, the groom, dressed sharply in a blue suit, spotted my arrival and promptly greeted me. The bride meeting scene was a charming tradition involving the purchase of a decorated flag. A flag bearer presented the flag to the bride's sister, who then decorated it. Following this, he bought it, negotiating the price as part of a ceremony. met by the groom and joyfully escorted to the car ready to drive to the Serbian Orthodox Church Cerkva, for the ceremony. The atmosphere was filled with excitement and the sounds of a lively brass band adding to the festive mood. <laughs> It's a beautiful iconic church perched on top of a mountain where the wedding ceremony began. The setting was picturesque with a charming church and stunning natural surroundings adding to the significance of the occasion.
party took place at the gorgeous Belidvor or White Palace. The elegant architecture and grand setting provided a perfect backdrop for the celebrations, adding a touch of majesty to the occasion. <laughs> After the civil marriage ceremony, the bride and groom made their way around the tables, toasting with each guest and sharing a drink. This personal gesture added a warm and intimate touch to the celebration, ensuring everyone felt included in their special day. Here comes the moment of the wedding cake. The bride and groom, surrounded by their loved ones, joyfully cut the cake together. The atmosphere was filled with excitement and celebration as everyone gathered to cheer in this sweet tradition. Next morning. After party. For a morning mint tea and Serbian Turkish style coffee, we walked next door to this famous and charming place, Pecinjara Kod Brana, which means grill house at Branas. Before heading to the airport, we went back to Marco's house for a farewell lunch. The table was set with a variety of delicious dishes, fresh vegetables, and homemade drinks, making for a cozy and memorable last meal with friends and family.